Hey guys, this is PEF number 10, or CPL number 1. Uh, we're just going to multiply these together. So 20x squared, uh, 4x, and then 1, same 4, negative 15x plus 3. Combine your like terms, 20x squared minus 19x plus 3. Uh, next problem, hey, this is one of those special ones. Remember, because we're, they're the exact same, separated by a sign. So I get 4x squared minus 121. Uh, number 5. Uh, what we want to do first is we want to distribute over the inner, so I'm going to x to the third plus x squared, and then I'm going to distribute negative 9, and that's all you can do, there's no other like terms there. Alright, so now we want to start factoring, so let's think about this, there's 1 out front, so I want the factors of negative 40, so plus and minus, so 1 and 40, 2 and 20, uh, let's see, 4 and 10, and 5 and 8. Looks like 5 and 8 are going to add to that negative 3, where we have a negative 8 and a positive 5. So x squared minus 8x plus 5x minus 40. Minus 40. Those have an x in common, so I'm going to factor the add out. I have a positive 5 in common, so that's going to leave me x minus 8. So the result is x minus 8, and x plus 5 is what I have after I do that. All right, first one, I want to factor out our greatest common factor. So then I have x squared minus 8x plus 16. Um, now we want to go ahead and multiply. So the x is going to come down. That's going to be part of the answer. So the 16 times the 1, I want positive 16. Both signs have to be negative because I have a negative sign right there. And so I got 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. And it looks like 4 and 4 work. So I'm going to get x squared minus 4x minus 4x uh, plus 16. That should be a minus. Again, that x comes down. I can factor out an x. So I get x and x minus 4 and x minus 4, just like that. Number 5, remember there's 1 out front. Multiply those together, that's negative 5. So I factor to 5 or 1 and 5. The 5 has to be negative, that's positive. So I'm going to get x plus 1, x squared plus 1x minus 5x minus 5. Let's factor an x out. x plus 1, factor a negative uh, 5 out. So that's x plus 1. So from there, we're going to go ahead and say, hey, we have both those in common. So I have x plus 1 and x minus 5. Number 13, we're going to do the same way. multiply 5 and 3 together, I get positive 15. I know that both signs have to be negative because I have a negative 8 right there. Factors are 15 or 1, 15, and 3 and 5. So it's going to be 3 and 5 where they're both negative. So I'm going to get 3x squared minus 3x minus 5x plus 5. Let's factor a 3x out of those. And I'm going to factor, because that's a negative, I'm going to factor a negative 5 out. And that leaves me x minus 1. So my answer is x minus 1, and 3x minus 5 is what I have left once I factor that out. Last problem, I'm going to multiply those together, so I get negative 10. Let's see, I know I have alternating signs, 1 positive, 1 negative, so 1 times 10, and 2 times 5. Will any of those, 1 being positive, 1 being negative, add up to negative 5? The answer is no, so this one is prime. Number 17, we want to factor out a greatest common factor first. So we're looking at this, and we're like, okay, well, I can factor an 8x out of everything, and that's going to leave me x squared. Excuse me, it's not 8x, I apologize. It'll be a 4x. That's going to leave me 2x squared minus 7x uh, plus 6. Okay, so 4x is part of our answer, so I'm going to bring this down here. So let's our answer down here for number 17. All right, we're going to multiply these together, so I'm going to get positive 12. Uh, this is negative, so they both need to be negative. So 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. We need to add up to negative 7, both being negative, so it's negative 3 and negative 4. So I have 2x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 6. I'm factoring x out, so I get 2x minus 3. This is a negative sign right here, so I can factor a negative 2 out, so I get 2x. Make sure you change the sign on the 6. So 2x minus 3. Remember the 4x we originally factored out. And then I have x minus 2 left. OK, 
a number fifth or number nineteen, excuse me. Looks like I can factor a five and an x and a y squared and everything it leaves me five x plus three y. That problem's done. Can't go any further. <clears throat> kind of nice. This one I'm gonna multiply those together. So I got a positive twelve. I know that the sinus both have to be negative because <clears throat> excuse me, I have a negative seven. So I have one times twelve, two and six, three and four. Both being negative three and four are gonna add it to the seven. <clears throat> so I got minus three x minus four x plus six. I have a x in common, so I'm gonna get two x minus three. I can factor out negative two. That's gonna give me two x minus three. So I get two x minus three and x minus two. <clears throat> and that's what you got. Thanks.